Okay, okay, this is uh, just a short video. Uh, I wanted to let you see uh, the inside of the um, reactor with uh, no water or anything in it, so you can see exactly how it's uh, arranged and wired. And uh, you can see, of course, there are two electrodes, and now with the buildup on them, you can pretty clearly see which is which uh, and how they're arranged and uh, just use zip ties to keep them apart and keep them tight and uh, there are seven rows of them and the way I wired this was I have it set up so that it alternates as it goes across the coils okay so we have positive and negative on one coil and then on the next coil since they are right next to each other in sequence and the coils line up uh, right next to each other then I went negative over here and positive over here and then positive and negative and so on and so forth uh, I also made it so that these uh, connectors uh, can be removed and I can try uh, different configurations with uh, you know moving the moving the connectors around having various neutrals uh, and various uh, positive negative patterns uh, instead of just you know every other plate uh, I can do a positive on one and then you know the neg the positive on the third one and uh, and maybe have a negative in between them uh, but on the opposite uh, uh, electrode so anyway so it's just going to allow us a little bit of uh, opportunity to uh, move things around and, and uh, try various uh, combinations and uh, so uh, we can see what uh, in this configuration is going to perform the best uh, and of course, you know, it all comes down to a bus bar, and then I made uh, connector straps uh, for the sides. You can see kind of along in behind there. I just used some connectors, opened them up, and soldered them together. So, uh, and they, you know, they connect every other one on this side, and then every other one on that side as well. Uh, and then, of course, you know, your negative uh, runs onto the bottom, positive into the top just real super simple uh, to explain the green color in the water from uh, my previous video the uh, wires in here they are uh, mil spec wires uh, silver coated or silver plated rather but they are copper and uh, and they are all of the joints in here uh, inside the cell are soldered then heat shrunk uh, I'm gonna do those a little different next time I'm just gonna use one connector instead of two I was gonna change them in there and then I decided to change them outside instead uh, but all the connectors except for these here are uh, uh, soldered. Uh, everything, all of these uh, connectors are soldered. Everything is soldered with the exception of the bus bar and the connectors on the top. Uh, and so, but inside the wires and connectors are uh, soldered. You're not going to be able to see this, but soldered uh, to the screws and washers. So those are solid. And then, uh, of course, where it comes through, I did not solder the nuts on. Uh, obviously, for the sake of uh, reconfiguring or having to repair something, that would make it a little impossible. Uh, I sealed it with silicone seal because we did have a rather large leak <laughs> when we uh, first fired it up. And uh, so, anyways, the the uh, in underneath the lid is is uh, sealed with silicone. This is uh, polycarbonate on top and there are two layers of polycarbonate under glued underneath the lid and that uh, is to facilitate the uh, pipe fittings and also give uh, some rigidity to the electrical connectors as well uh, just your standard issue low dollar uh, meat meat uh, thermometer and uh, and as you can see it uh, let's see I'll get it turned around here you can see it just barely clears the uh, cells so we're getting you know we're reading right down at where the reaction is taking place uh, anyways I hope this uh, answers any questions um, thanks to uh, Zero and Scarecrow for the input I appreciate the uh, tip on the glass uh, cell this is only for experiment this is not going to be uh, my standard uh, I like the, the clip that uh, uh, Scarecrow sent me about that one uh, uh, similar cell the guy made out of the glass and uh, put a torch on it and uh, or uh, lit it but uh, he didn't have a bubbler 
and I noticed his electrolyte was way down so he had quite a considerable volume of HHO inside his uh, reactor so of course when it went off it uh, it definitely detonated uh, I've been trying to keep mine relatively full, full for that sake but also you know running it through the bubbler isolates the uh, the reactor itself uh, the bubbler is subject to whatever happens but that's you know those things will take the uh, take the uh, uh, detonation pretty well so anyways if you have any questions I'd be more than happy to um, answer them uh, just to let you know on the bottom of the base here this is uh, a um, just a rice cup that we got from the Chinese food um, uh, takeout <laughs> and uh, used a uh, divider uh, to a uh, drafting divider to uh, cut the hole in the bottom of it just went around and around in it so I got a nice uh, neat hole just the size we needed for our uh, our extremely high-tech uh, HHO meter or HHO yeah, ometer um, and then the uh, the slip-in fittings in the bottom uh, those seem to work uh, pretty good seem to get a pretty good seal and they're really handy for, for taking things apart when you need to a um, couple of the things that I wish I'm gonna do different I wish I would have done different um, I should have oiled or waxed the glass before I put the silicone on there so having done it the way I've done it uh, this is a rather permanent uh, situation and it makes uh, cleaning it out a little tedious you know it's not impossible a little tedious turning you know shake it up turn it upside down let it run out uh, and and then fill it back up uh, and not just use uh, this this pipe and a little a little uh, funnel to fill it up with uh, they're getting a little tedious so I would put you know a, um, uh, a different uh, arrangement here maybe a pipe plug here and do the uh, the thermostat using a uh, thermal couple instead but this is what we have for now and, and uh, it's working pretty good uh, I also wanted to mention what uh, if you didn't uh, see it in the message I was using uh, tap water and uh, a really undeterminate amount of um, um, potassium hydroxide as our electrolyte so we had a considerable uh, um, draw of amperage and that's that's uh, that's why we don't have uh, any real uh, numbers for you as far as the amperage draw goes uh, this next batch will be very meticulously measured and and uh, uh, recorded and then you'll have an idea I also have a uh, high amperage DC meter coming so I will be able to give you uh, accurate numbers on that as well I expect it to run about 20 to 30 amps um, and of course, you know, with maybe some uh, zeros pulse width modulator or you know that should help keep the amperage down and temperature down. Uh, zero did say that that uh, having these, you know, one right next to the other uh, is going to run the temperature up pretty quick. It does come up. It got up to 120 degrees in about a half hour's run time. Uh, that is going to, of course, uh, change when I when I uh, reconfigure uh, these to have some neutrals in them and, and try various configurations. Anyways, I just wanted to let you in on that and I will have another video for you running with a accurate electrolyte mixture as soon as humanly possible. Thanks for watching and uh, be sure and write, write me with any questions. Have a good day.